In this module, we're gonna learn all about how to pick with your right hand. And in this lesson, I'm gonna go over how to hold the guitar and how to use the pick. So the first thing you wanna do is, well, if you have a right-handed guitar or a left-handed, it doesn't matter which one, no matter what guitar you have, you wanna make sure that your first string, your skinniest string, is at the bottom. It is closest to the floor. Your thickest string, the sixth string, is closest to you. So once you got that figured out, you wanna make sure that if you're playing a right-handed guitar, your guitar is resting on your right leg. And if you have a left-handed guitar, you wanna make sure that it's resting on your left leg. It, it, you want it ideally to be straight up and down like this to you. You don't want it to be tilting either way. I have a, I have a guitar pick in there. I need to get out if you heard that sound. <laughs> oh, sometimes guitar picks fall in and they're fun to get out. Um, anyway, uh, if you have an electric guitar, those sometimes can be hard to rest on your leg depending on like how you're sitting and where you're sitting. Sometimes using a strap can be helpful. You can even use a strap if you're playing an acoustic guitar. You just wanna make sure you're comfortable and your guitar can stay at the right angle for you to be able to play. Electric guitars are easier to look over and they're easier to play kind of you know tilted, but you wanna make sure just to have good posture and good habits developing from the beginning in the way you hold your guitar and sit. There's gonna be some exercises where you're gonna feel, and I'm gonna talk about this actually in the next exercise or in the first uh, picking exercise, where you know sometimes it's necessary to, to move your guitar a little bit you know, diagonal to you so you can see over it, but then to adjust back or just peer over <laughs> extra, which feels awkward. But the eventual position that you want to be practicing in is just straight up, not like this. Okay, you don't you want it to just be parallel <laughs> with your upper body. And when you're playing with your right hand, you want to make sure that you're playing over the sound hole when you have an acoustic guitar. When you hold a pick, you want to hold it with your first and first finger and thumb, and you want to. Hold it with just the first bones of each of those fingers. So what I mean by that is just this part of your thumb, this little part of your thumb, and then this first part of your finger. You don't want to hold it too much like this, you know, with your hand like that. It's it'll it'll it's just awkward and uncomfortable. You want to make sure you're holding it like that. And when you come at the strings, you want to make sure that your pick is perpendicular to the strings when you pick them. You want you don't want the you don't want it to be too far like this down, right? And you don't want it to be too far up like this. You want it to be directly perpendicular to the strings so that when you play it's just like stays perpendicular just like that. When you're doing these exercises we're about to go over, it's easier to keep your pick perpendicular when you do chords and you str strum more than one string at the same time. Your pick will naturally kind of fall down the strings, but you want to make sure that it's not, you're not playing it just like that. We'll get more into how to strum chords in a bit, but when we're doing these exercises in this module, we're gonna try to stay as perpendicular as we can to the strings, just to kind of get a good form. You also don't want to hold your pick super tight. It's, it's easy to want to do at first because you're not used to holding it. It feels like it might fall out of your hands, but you want to have a nice relaxed feel when you play. Hold, like Hold it tight enough that it won't fall out of your hands, but not so tight that you feel like your hand is super tense. You want your hand to just be relaxed and free and having a good old time. The last thing that you're gonna wanna make sure is your arm placement. Like I said, we play over the sound hole just like this, but sometimes we have a tendency to reach our arm way down here, especially, you know, with shorter arms, it's a little harder to do it really. <laughs> if you have a shorter arms like me, it's it will definitely wear on your shoulder and your neck and your trap, but even with larger arms, it just having your arm forward like this, it's just gonna be uncomfortable over time. It might be fine now and you might feel like 
yeah, it's fine. But the way I tell you to put your arms or your hands, really, yeah, it's it's good habit to have to you know be a good guitar player. But also, you know, you can be a good guitar player even if you don't do those things, and even if you do put your arm over it like this, but it's gonna be a lot more painful over time if you do this. So a lot of this is for comfort. Uh, it's this, we're adding this new thing to our life that we're like, how do I hold this? This is awkward and weird. Like, how do I put my arm? So I'm just kind of giving you suggestions on how to enjoy it with the least amount of pain. <laughs> you're gonna have, you're gonna have pain, especially when you do your left hand, you know, once you start putting your hand on the strings, it's gonna be a little painful, a little sore but you don't want to have extra pain that you don't necessarily need. So having your elbow crease kind of right on the guitar right here where the guitar crease, if you have um, longer arms, it, it, you might place it differently, maybe back farther. It just depends on how long your arms are. And also depends on if you're standing up with a guitar strap or sitting down, your arm placement really varies. But if you're sitting down, you want to be comfortably over the sound hole without your arm just reaching all the way over like that to get there. 